and sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let your hands come to rest somewhere comfortably on your lap. And slowly begin to exhale your breath all the way out. Breathe in through your nostrils, please. Out through your mouth, exhale. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Reach your arms up to the sky, please. Take a deep breath in, stretch up to your fingertips. Bring your hands to your heart, exhale. Let it go. And with your eyes closed, press your palms together, keep your lips sealed, and take a few breaths in through your nose and out through your nose, please. In through your nose and out through your nose, breathe. Letting the breath get a little bit deeper, more complete. Starting to amplify the sound and volume of the breath so that as you inhale, the breath is moving through the back of the throat. You can hear the sound of the breath filling up the body. And as you exhale, the breath is moving through the back of the throat and out through the nostrils. A little more forcibly, it sounds like you're projecting a whisper across empty space. So the sound is filling up the space around you. Focus in on that sound, let your senses be drawn towards it so that there's no distraction coming to you from outside space. And set the intention for our practice today. With everything that's going on in our world right now, there's a lot of ways that we can be a part of the solution. One of the greatest ways that we can be a part of change is through self-care. Uh, in a lot of ways, self-care is revolutionary. Before this modern era that we lived in, the idea of you know, self-care and self-practice like this was something kind of foreign to most people. Um, so it's really important that we acknowledge the importance of self-care in our world and in our society. Once we have taken care of ourselves, we can then better serve our community and the people around us. So practicing today with the idea of self-care and showing through that self-care, uh, self-love and respect, showing that self-care isn't just about fulfilling you, but about filling your cup so that you can go out and serve those around you as best you can. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for Om. Oh. 
Blink your eyes open, please. And let's come forward onto our hands and knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide on the mat, hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Shifting your weight forward, lean into your hands and lift the palms up, keep the knuckles down. We'll do that again, lower the palms down and lift the palms up. Lower the palms down and lift the palms up. We'll do that for five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna come up to our fingertips. Ready, lean forward into your hands, lift up to your fingertips, lower down to your palms, and again, going five, four, three, two, and one. Stay high on your fingertips, please. Press down and round into your back for cat pose. Chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes a little bit. Inhale, cow pose. Spin your thighs back, lift into your chest. Let's keep it going. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest. Inhale, cow pose, chest lifted, look up. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. Come back to a nice flat back position. Turn your palms face up, please. Point the fingers in towards each other. Wiggle your fingers, roll out your thumbs, rock a little bit side to side. Circle the thumbs, wiggle the fingers, rock it out. Pressing down to the backs of your hands. Let's go for just a few times to the left and then to the right, to the right and back to the left. Three, two, And one, all right. Turn your palms face down, please. Point the fingers back towards your thighs. Rock forward, lean into your hands, cat pose your spine, round into your back. Inhale, shift back, cow pose. Move your hips to your heels, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rock forward again, cat pose. Chin to chest, tuck your toe. Inhale, rock back, cow pose. Exhale, rock forward, cat pose. Inhale, rock back, cow pose. Sit all the way back onto the tops of your feet now. Roll out your wrists a little bit. Just kind of make some wrist circles. You can stay right here, staying exactly in this shape, or lean back, hands down and lift the knees up away from the mat. Oh. Okay, breathe here, a couple of breaths. Hips are heavy, crown is lifted. Thank you, thanks for your help. Lower your knees down to the ground. All right, walk your hands forward, please. Come onto your hands and knees. And take your left arm out to the left, reach out to your fingertips, thread your left arm underneath you and lower down onto your left shoulder. Reach your right fingertips forward and lower the right, and look underneath your right armpit, sorry. Can you make your legs a little more active here? So just hug your, uh, squeeze your thighs together and spin your inner thighs back to broaden your hips. Lift your navel and look up underneath your right armpit, twist. Bring your right hand back underneath your nose, or back underneath your right shoulder. Push down to the right arm, sweep your left arm up to the sky, and step your left foot way back behind you, supported side plank pose. Reach forward to your left fingertips. Look up, lean back, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot all the way forward to the top of the mat, please. Very good, place your left hand down inside of your left ankle. Look forward, rock forward, and lunge. 
scissor your thighs together, press out through your feet, pull forward into your chest. Straighten your left leg, flex your toes, exhale, pull your hips back, tone your thighs, hold it in. Inhale, rock forward, look forward and lunge, press through your feet, pull through your chest. Exhale, shift back, straight leg, flex your toes. Inhale, rock forward, look forward and lunge. Exhale, shift back with the left leg extend. Push through the hands and lift the back knee up. Rock forward and lunge, back knee lifted. Keep pressing through the hands, lift your hips up, straighten your front leg, keep the back knee lifted. Press through the hands, inhale, sweep your left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Now stack your left tip over your right hip, please. Make a few big circles with your left knee. Big circles with the left knee, please. Circle the other way. Stack your left tip over your right hip. Press to your hands. Stay here, or maybe you just take your left toes to tap the ground behind you. Little wild thing, lift the left arm to the sky and lower your hips down to the ground, tap the ground between your feet, between your legs, and lift your hips back up. Reach your left arm over your head. Tap the ground with your bum, with your hand. Lift the hips up, reach over your head. One more time, tap the ground. Lift your hips up, come all the way back around. If you're still in that down dog, now's the chance to bring your left knee to your left shoulder. Rock forward, tap your arm. Extend your left leg out to your right and open your right arm up to the sky. Spin your right heel down, press out through your feet, stretch out through your arms. Place both hands down on the ground, make your way back to plank pose. And we'll lower it down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Shake it out a little bit. Lower your knees down to the ground. Reach your right arm out to the right, please. Thread the right arm out, uh, through the right arm underneath you. Come down onto your right shoulder. Walk your left fingertips forward. Squeeze your thighs together. Spin your thighs back. Broaden your hips and twist. Bring your left hand back down and open your right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot back and reach your right arm forward. Big side stretch. Look forward, step your right foot all the way to the top of the mat, please. Place your right hand down inside your right ankle. Look forward, rock forward and lunge. Press into your feet, pull forward into your chest. Straighten your right leg, exhale, flex your toes. Pull your hips back, flex your thigh muscle. Don't worry about forcing the knee into locked position. Make your quad more active. Flex your quadriceps. Inhale, rock forward, lunge. Press the heart forward, press into the feet. Exhale, shift back, straighten your front leg as best you can. Flex your quadriceps. Inhale, rock forward and lunge. Exhale, shift back, straight leg. This time as you come forward, pick up your back knee. Rock forward, back knee lifts. Keep that, the back knee lifted, straighten your front leg, press through your hands, sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And you're welcome to stack the right hip over the left hip here. You can hold it or make circles, big circles with the right knee. Circle it out, circle the other way. Stack your right hip over your left hip, stay here or flip the dog. Take the right foot to the ground behind you, Press through your feet and then lower your hips, your butt to the ground, placing your, tapping the ground with your right hand. Lift your hips up, squeeze your glute, reach your right arm over your head. And then again, let your butt tap the ground, right hand taps the ground. Squeeze the glutes, lift your hips up. Tap the ground, right hand taps the ground. 
This time as you lift up, reach forward. We're gonna take it all the way back around. Right hand comes down. Everybody right knee into your chest, rock forward. Stay here or extend your right leg out to the left and open your left arm up to the sky. Press through your hands, extend through your legs, lean back. Good, Aaron, lean back even more, left shoulder back. Yeah, both hands coming down, step back. Nice clean chaturanga, lower. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. In through your nose and out through your nose, please breathe. Spread your fingers wide, hug your forearms in, spin your biceps up. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs back, lift your bum to the sky. From the center of your chest, push down into your hands, make your arms feel strong. From the center of your chest, lift up into your hips, press down and extend through your heels. Fill up the whole body, find fullness in the entire body. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees to look forward. You're gonna let your feet land right between your hands. Either step or hop forward, please. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen into your spine. Exhale, fold in, bring your nose to your knees. Rise to standing, please reach your arms up. Big stretch through your fingertips. Interlace the hands, pointer fingers extend, side bend to your left side. Take it up, side bend to your right side. Oh yeah. Inhale, back through the center. Cactus your arms, please. Exhale, shoulder blades drop down, chest is lifted. Come up to chair pose or sit back to chair pose. Hugging your shins in, spinning your thighs down. Broaden your hips and sit low into that space. Get your hips even lower. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Step or hop back, moving through your vinyasa. Remember, if you hop back to land into that bent elbow position. Inhale, cobra pose or up dog. Keep your shoulders back and your heart lifted. Downward facing dog. Lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees to look forward. Step or hop lightly to the top of the mat. Press through your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold in. Rise up to standing, take your arms up. Clasp opposite elbows overhead, side bend to your left side. Squeeze your glutes, draw your belly in, and stretch. Come back up, keep squeezing opposite elbows, side bend to the right side. Inhale back up, cactus the arms, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, reach the arms up, move your hips back, get low. Bring your hips to the height of your knees, Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees, please. Lift up halfway, plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up to your toes, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale, press to the hands, lift your hips, hop it forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Rise to standing, reach the arms up. One more time, clasp opposite elbows, then reverse the clasp so that your left dominant arm is on top. Side bend to your right side. Squeeze your glutes, draw your belly in. Inhale, come back up. Side bend to your left side. Inhale, back up. Cactus your arms, curl it back, lift your chest. Chair pose, inhale. Shins and thighs down, sit really low. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Lift up halfway, please. Plant the hands, take it back. Chaturanga, lean into it, hop it back, landing with bent elbows. Inhale, cobra pose or upward dog. 
Exhale, downward, facing dog. Lift up to your tiptoes. Bend your knees, look forward lightly, step or hop the feet to together, forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in, nose to knees. Rise up, reach your arms to the sky. And once again, cactus the arms open into your chest. Chair pose, take your hips back, stretch up through your fingertips. Get nice and low here. Exhale, as you fold forward, sweep the arms back, interlace your fingers behind your back face. Keep squeezing your palms together, stretch out through your knuckles, and down into your feet. Hold and breathe here. Palms squeeze together. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs back to broaden your hips. Extend down into your feet, extend out through your heart, and up and over through your knuckles. Bring your hands to your low back, please. Slide the hands down to the ground, inhale, lift up halfway. Step your right foot way back behind you and lower your right knee down to the ground. We'll circle the left arm up and back to grab the right foot. Breathe, pull your heart forward. Breathe, roll your shoulders back. Scissor your thighs together. In the center of your hips, extend out through your legs. Push down into your feet. And from the center of your hips, pull forward into your chest. Roll both shoulders back. Take another breath or two here, squeezing your heel into your bum. Very good, release your back leg, please. And circle your left arm all the way up and around. We're gonna turn to the right side and come into a wide-legged forward fold. Pick up your back knee, turn into this wide-legged fold. Big toes turned in, quads are flexed, inner thighs are spinning back. Keep spiraling your thighs back to broaden your hips. And from the hips, extend out through the legs, push down into your feet. Can you keep that as you extend from your hips out through your heart? your side body and fold in a little bit deeper, working the crown of your head towards the ground. And lift up to your fingertips, please. Lengthen into your spine, stretch the heart forward, stretch the, uh, spin your inner thighs back. Let's go to the right side now, Skandasana. The right knee will bend, the left leg will extend. You don't need to go super low here to probably feel a good stretch. Move your hips back to go down, keeping the heels down, move your thighs apart, but keep lifting through the pelvic floor. Breathe, lift into your chest as much as you can. Breathe, try not to let your spine round forward. Breathe, get nice and low. Good, my friends. Stay low, squeeze heels together, move thighs apart. Stay low, side angle pose now. Come forward, place your left hand down inside your left ankle. Sweep your right arm forward, press off your back foot. All right. Inner right thigh is spinning back. You're lifting through the back of your right thigh. We're now at the top of the mat with the left knee bent and the right leg extended. There you go, good. Squeeze your heels together, draw your thighs to your hips. From the center of your hips, push down into your feet to stretch and extend. From the center of your hips, pull forward into your chest. Lean back and open your heart. Nice work, my friends. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your nose here. One more big stretch, big breath. All right, walk your left fingertips uh, actually, let's see, first round, go ahead and just straighten your left leg. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Triangle pose. Two straight legs. Inner right thigh spins back. Lift the back of the right thigh. Outer left hip wraps under. In the center of your hips, extend out. Expand in all directions. 
So good, good, calling shoulders back, heart forward, lean into it, lean back more. Keep taking your left hip back. Nice, Jeff. Good, Daryl, press to your left big toe, tack your left hip back even more. Bring your left hand to your shin or ankle so you get a little bit more extension in your front leg. Nice, Anna, ready. Reach your right arm back behind you now, reaching it back towards the back of your mat. Start to bend into your left knee, spin your right heel up, drop your right knee back down to the ground. Take both arms up on Janayasana. Reach up and stretch back, cactus your arms, curl back a little bit. Inhale, lift your back knee up, reach your arms to the sky, crescent lunge. Big, strong lift through that back leg. So nice, my friends. Hold it, breathe. Inner right thigh lifts, outer left hip wraps under. Breathe. Release the hands down. Take your time, right side, side plank pose. Open your left arm up to the sky. Press down through your right hand, step your left foot back. Press through your right hand, spin your right bicep forward. Step your left foot back, wild thing. Squeeze into the right glute. Ooh, reach into your left fingertips. Breathe. Reach all the way up and over your head towards the ground. Come back around, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Lift up to your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Bring your feet to land between your hands, step or hop the feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Come to standing, take the arms up. And open the heart, exhale, cactus the arms, shoulders back, chest lift. Starting to really feel good in that little standing back bend. Chair pose, inhale. Sit really low, everybody. Exhale, forward fold, sweep the arms back. Interlace the hands, opposite grip, please, behind the back. Palms are squeezing together. The knuckles extend up and over. Legs are active, shins are hugging in, spinning inner thighs back to broaden your hips. Keep expanding, keep finding fullness within yourself, creating fullness. It's not like we are being gifted uh, our self-care or being gifted our reminder of our fullness, creation of it. We have to create it ourselves. It's up to us to create that sense of compassion and respect and love for ourselves. And so we do it here and now, through this action, through intention. Chins in, thighs back, broaden your hips, press down into your feet, stretch out through your chest and stretch through your knuckles. Show yourself that self-respect by moving into the fullness of the pose to the best of your ability. So show yourself compassion, not pushing past the edge where there's pain or disconnection. Hands to your low back, inhale, lift up halfway. Lengthen into your spine, exhale, place the hands down, step your left foot way back behind you. Lower your left knee down, sweep your right arm forward, up and back, and grab a hold of your foot. Give it a nice little squeeze here, heel to bum. We'll be here for a few breaths to build it. Right hand to left foot. Flex your quads, scissor your thighs together, please. Squeeze into your left glute, and from there, press into your feet to deepen your lunge. From the center of your hips, pull forward into your chest to open your heart and lean back. Good. Nice, Daryl. Good, Joanna. Joanna, left shoulder back as well. So the hand that's on the ground, roll that shoulder back too. Does that feel better? Now pull your heart forward and lunge. So good. Release your back foot, everybody. Turn to your left, wide legged fold. Pick up your back knee, turn to your left. Wide-legged fold. If you want to grab your feet or big toes or ankles to pull yourself in for a more active stretch, you can. Breathe. Try to get your cut to be full. 
that sense of fullness comes with your own ability to act. Right? We have the choice is what we discover in this space. Not the fullness itself, but the choice to create it. That's what is being played with in this moment. Hug your shins in, press your, uh, spin your inner thighs back, sorry, and then broaden your hips, push down into your feet. You notice a lot of the actions are the same within the poses. We're trying to create space and fill that space up. Move consciously with new awareness through that space. Stretch the crown of the head towards the ground. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Turn to your left, Skandasana. Your left knee will bend, your right leg will stay extended. Move the hips down and back. See if you can avoid rounding the spine, lift into your chest as much as you can as the hips sit low. Chest is lifted, spine is long, breath is deep. We'll keep it low, come into side angle pose. Right hand down inside the right ankle and left arm reaching out in front of you. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Really start to work your right hip back and underneath you are. That's gonna help you lean back into the pose, finding that full rotation in the spine. Inner left thigh spins back and lifts up. Press firmly through your left foot. Outer right hip wrapped back and underneath you. Lightly engage the glutes and stretch through your legs. Push down into your feet. Don't worry about driving your hips down, right? Instead, extend through your legs. Push through your feet. Feel the stretch that you can create, not just by forcing the body through space, but actively engaging the body to move through space. Straighten your right leg, triangle pose. Push through your right big toe, flex the quadriceps. Really working on keeping your muscles active here. Flex quads, scissor thighs together. Inner left thigh spins back, lift the back of the left thigh. Outer right hip wraps under. Press through your feet, extend through your heart, lean back into it. Good Colleen, shoulders back. Good Daryl, shoulders back. Nice, everyone. Put to my press to that right big toe a little bit more. Yes. All right, here we go. Reach your left hand back behind you. Left arm reaches back. Bend your right knee. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Sweep both arms up to the sky. Anjaneyasana, inhale. Cactus your arms, exhale, curl back. A little bit of a back bend. And reach the arms up. Crescent lunge, inhale, arms to the sky. Back knee lifted. Hold it here. Inner left thigh is lifting. Outer right hip wraps under. Draw your belly in, lift the front of your hips. Extend through your legs, lift through your chest. Reach back a little bit. Take your time to come into side plank pose on your left side. Left hand coming down, right arm goes up. Right foot steps to left foot. Then wild thing if you want, step your right foot back. Press through your feet, lift through your hips, reach through your fingertips. Nice big stretch here. Reaching for the ground up and over your head. Come all the way back to nice calling plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga, good Mario. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, please. Lower your knees down to the ground. Walk your hands forward. Puppy dog pose. Set the center of the chest towards the ground. Press your thighs back, keep the hips nice and broad. Just about three breaths here. It uh, looks good, Fatima, walk your hands forward more, extend your arms more. Look towards your thumbs, come forward, sphinx pose. Pull your heart forward forward, press the feet down into the ground, push down into your forearms, lift up into your chest, keep pulling yourself forward, keep pulling yourself forward. It's as if you're just sliding on the ground, but your legs are keeping you anchored in place. Now pull forward so much that your elbows start to hover off the mat, pulling forward rather than pushing away. 
chest forward, lift your elbows a little bit more, then lower your elbows back down, lift your legs up. Lower your feet back down, lift your elbows back up. Lower your elbows back down, lift your feet back up. One more time, elbows down, uh, feet down, elbows up, sorry. And elbows down, legs lift. Hold it here. Very good, lower all the way down onto your stomach. Open your arms out nice and wide to a T-shape, please. Roll over to your left side, step your right foot to the ground behind you. If you wanna reach back with your right hand and grab your right foot, you can. Take the foot into the hand. and release it, come back to your stomach, over to the right side, reach your right arm out to the right, step your left foot to the ground behind you. And if you wanna reach back with your left hand and grab your left foot, you can. Kick the foot into the hand, or just hold it, your choice. back to your stomach. Place the hands down right next to your chest, please. Pull forward, cobra pose. Press it back, downward facing dot. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Bring your left knee into your chest and step between your hands. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Circle your left arm up and back. Grab a hold of your right foot. You want to come down onto your right forearm this time, just to go a little bit deeper. We're here for maybe two or three breaths. Shoulders back, heart forward. Roll the right shoulder back too. Now pull into your chest, press into your feet. Release the back foot, circle the left arm around. Turn to your right wide-legged fold. Pick up your back knee. Spin your thighs back, inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Option here, if you wanna play around with coming into a headstand, you can. Your feet will be, stay where they are. Your hands will come underneath your shoulders. Your head will come down past your fingertips, not between your hands, past your hands. So if you're gonna not do the headstand, just stay here in this wide-legged fold, right? Rather than lying down or doing anything else, stay in the wide-legged fold versus going upside down. If you are going upside down, enjoy it. Otherwise, stay in the wide-legged forward fold. Good, if you're up, slowly come down, make your way back into your wide-legged fold if you're not there. Lift up to your fingertips and turn to your right side, skandasa. Right knee bending, left leg extending. Slowly lower your hips towards the ground. Maybe they even tap the ground. Pick your butt up and come right back to side angle pose, left side. Left hand down inside the left ankle. Right arm sweeps forward, three. Wrap your right arm behind your back, please. If you wanna take a bind here, you can. Wrapping the left arm under and clasping, optional. If you have the bind, great. Make your back leg strong. Spin your inner right thigh back, lift the back of your right thigh. Now take your outer left hip, pull it out to your left a little bit. Now radically pull it back underneath you towards your right heel. Keep that, extend your heart forward, lunge a little bit deeper. Nice job. If you're gonna keep the bind, great. Keep it, Joanna, roll right shoulder back more. If you want to unwind the bind, let it go. Half moon pose now. We're going to take the right leg up off the ground. You can keep the bind. It does make it a little bit trickier for your balance. I find it helpful to pull the heart forward and a little to the left as the back leg lifts up and the standing leg gets stronger. But if you want to release the bind, that's fine too. Bring your left hand down. Nice, Daryl. Right shoulder back more, right rib cage back more. There you go. Good, Jeff, lift your right thigh a little bit more. 
And Madhu, give me more strength and action through your legs. Quads flexed, extend up your heels. Nice, Anna. Big step back. Oh, sorry. Reach back with your right hand. Grab your right foot. Shapasana. Right hand to right foot. Hold it here. Good, Barbara. Just reach back with your left hand and grab your right foot. Yeah. And when you're ready to release, we're all going to let it go. Ready? Big step back on Janayasana. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Take both arms up to the sky. Cactus the arms. Exhale. Back knee down. Chest is lifted. Pick the back knee up. Crescent lunge. Arms up. Stretch back. Bring your palms together and the thumbs to the back of your neck, please. Lift your elbows up and lean back, open into your heart. Good. Press through your feet deep in your lunge. Extend through your fingertips. Open your heart. Reach up and stretch back. Start to lean forward. Bring your hands into your heart. Bring your right knee into your chest. Stand all the way up. Ooh, yeah, feeling that. Here we go. Dancer pose. Right hand grabs the right foot. You can grab the pinky toe side, or for a little bit more of a shoulder stretch, grab the big toe side. Kick the foot into the hand, lift your chest up. It doesn't have to be a big stretch. If you have something in front of you, you can put your hand on, you know, a table or a sofa, or a chair, something like that. Maybe the wall. Good, Madhu. Right foot goes back. Kicking back, dancer pose. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Lift your chest up. Press through your standing leg. Slowly release it. Take the hands down to the ground. Step your right foot way back. Nice plank. Turn to your right side, side plank pose. Step your left foot back behind you. Wild thing. Press through your feet, lift through your hips. Maybe you tap the ground with your left fingertips. Nice, Jeff. Come all the way back through to plank pose. Let's lower chaturanga. Cobra pose or upward dog. Downward facing dog. So with these back bend practices, it's tricky. We want to get warm and heated, but we move a little bit slower through them so that we can be more stable and safe. And kind of taking our time with each of these movements. Right leg lifts up nice and high. Bring your knee into your chest, step between your hands, please. Lower your left knee down, circle your right arm back. Grab a hold of your left foot. Squeeze your heel to your bum, deepen your lunge, come down onto your left forearm optionally. You have the forearm down, roll your shoulders back. Pull your heart forward, breathe. Remember, roll the left shoulder back just as much so that you're broadened across your collarbone, extend through that space. From the hips, pull forward into your chest, press out into your legs. One more breath, squeeze heel to bum as you lean back and twist open. Release the back foot, turn to your left, wide-legged fold. Big toes turned in, inner thigh spin back. Wide legged forward. So you have the choice of staying right here in this pose. We'll stay here and just work on stretching the hamstrings, turning the hips over. I'd like you to work on this pelvic meditation where you're taking the tops of your hips and rolling them forward so your sit bones turn up. Or headstand, forearms to the ground, interlace your fingers, bring the back of your head into your hands. So you're going to either stay in your fold or lean forward, maybe just bring the head down, press down into your forearms, elbows, come up to your tiptoes, keep tilting the hips and pelvis forward until your feet come off the ground. And so the goal here isn't necessarily to come up, but to work that notation of the pelvis. Turn your hips forward or turn them over until they come up, holding. If you're in your fold, fold a little bit deeper. If you're up, start to lower down. Slowly working your way back down. Inhale, everyone lift up to your fingertips. Everyone exhale, skandhasana under the left side. 
left knee bends, right leg extends. You might lower your hips so much that they tap the ground. Really good work for our hip mobility. Pick your hips up, come forward, side angle pose. Stay here in this lovely stretch. Make sure you're taking that right hip and wrapping it back and underneath you. So instead of letting the right hip press out to the right, which does make the pose feel easier, right? You have a little bit less resistance, less stretch. Please take your right hip, pull it towards your left heel. Yes. Now the option to bind. Right arm wraps behind the back, left arm wraps underneath you. Inner left thigh spins back, lifts up. Lift the back of that left thigh, make your back leg strong. Wrap your right hip under. It can be helpful to move the right hip out to the right a little bit, then pull it all the way underneath you to the left. Kind of gives you that sense of alignment, your body in space. Practice self-care by taking these alignment cues, keeping yourself safe. Doesn't mean they're 100% perfect for all of us, but give it a shot, see how it feels. Doesn't feel good, let me know. Breathe, try something that feels right for you. Roll both shoulders back, pull your heart forward. Everyone lean back more, slide your shoulder blades to your back pockets. You can keep the bind as you come forward into your half moon pose. It's gonna be really hard to hold the bind with the shoulders rounding forward. So heart forward, pull your right, uh, your heart towards the upper right corner of the mat if you have the bind and then lift your back leg up make your back leg nice and strong for counterbalance if you want to release it you can release it and then if you have the ability to chapasana here it's going to help us out reach back with your left hand grab your left foot and kick the foot into your hand. Make your standing leg really strong. Flex your quadricep, lift your kneecap. Kick the foot into your hands, pull your heart forward. So good, everyone. And we're gonna step way back to Anjane Asana, kneeling lunge. Step it back, lower your back knee to the ground. Both arms up. Cactus the arms, curl back, lift into your chest, legs are active. Arms up, back knee lifted, crescent lunge. Bring your palms together, bring your thumbs to the back of your neck. Back inner thigh is lifted, elbows lift up and back. From the center of your hips, stretch out through your legs. From the center of your hips, reach back through your fingertips. Fill up the heart space. Your ability for love and compassion. Fill it up here and now. Hands to your heart, come forward. Lean forward, bring your left knee into your chest. All right, here we go. Standing on the right leg, reach down with your left hand, grab your left foot. Grab the big toe side of your foot, kick the foot into your hand, reach your right arm up to the sky. Try not to just tilt forward. Keep the lift in your chest. Breathe. Inner left thigh lifts up. Kick the foot back. Lift into your chest for three, two, and one. Release the hands. Oh yeah, step back. Nice job, side plank, finish strong to the left side. We got there, step your right foot back behind you, wild thing. Press through your feet, lift through your hips. Back to plank pose, everybody. Lower down, chaturanga, last vinyasa. Cobra pose, downward facing. Yeah. Please bring your left shin forward, pigeon pose. Slide your right leg back. Inhale, scissor your thighs together, sit up tall. Exhale, come down onto your forearms, pigeon pose. Barbara, how would it feel to come off of the left hip and to kind of bring more weight into your right hip? 
Yeah, so lift your left hip off the mat and start to square off your hips. Find them more balanced in space. There you go. You feel the stretch more, not your head? Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you remember, if there's pain, you want to be able to separate pain from discomfort. Think of discomfort as this joy in disguise. The pain is not going to lead us to that sense of bliss that you achieve in our practice. A couple more breaths here. If you want to walk your hands in and reach back to grab your back foot, you can. Nicely set up for this. Nice calling. You can always bring your right big toe into your right elbow crease. Point your right fingertips up, keeping your legs active. Left hand to right hand. And for those of you working, Raja Kapatasana, grab your big toe. Pull your right elbow to the sky. When you're ready to let it go, release it slowly. Take your time. Come up to downward facing dog. You need any other movements here before we do the other side. When you're ready, right shin forward. Pigeon. And so a lot of times in class, you'll hear teachers call this pigeon prep. And you're like, well, what is, what is that pigeon prep for? And it's prep for kind of what I just did, that reaching back of the back foot, prep for, um, the, for the, what is considered the full pose. Not, not, you can't find fullness here in the shape because obviously you can, you can feel it now but come down to your forms. But if you wanted to build it into you know, a back bend, like Ekapada Raja Kaputasana, you can tell by the amount of syllables that it's a doozy. The practice of self-care isn't just about pushing ourselves as far as we can, but about respecting ourselves enough to challenge ourselves and grow. On that path, we practice compassion, respect. We learn, remember how to love ourselves so that we can love others. I don't want to say everything because that's a, that's a big word, but a lot, a lot of what we do in this space is practice for what we're capable of beyond this space. Walk your hands in. Reach back if you want to. This is optional. Feel free to stay where you are with your left hand and grab your left foot. Not necessarily the shape. We're not going to probably find much use for the shape in our day-to-day -day life other than just feeling free in our spine and our hips. But the energy of this pose, what it takes, perseverance, them into practice. We open the heart. We let in compassion and love, kindness. We open our hips, release trauma, emotional baggage.
And in that process, we prepare ourselves to move beyond the space and help others with the same thing. Loving ourselves teaches us to love others. Releasing our own baggage helps us find acceptance with others. When you're ready, let go of the pose and make your way to seated. Let's wrap this up. Nice job, my friends. Take your left foot to the outside of your right thigh, please. Right elbow to left thigh for a twist. Hips down, chest lifted. Switch legs, right foot to the outside of the left thigh, twisting to your right. Hips down, chest lifted, twist. Unwind, stretch your legs out, shake them out. Take your legs wide, sit up tall, and exhale, fold right in down the center. Flex your toes, flex your quads, scissor thighs to hips, spin your inner thighs down, press your hips back, and extend out through your legs, extend out through your chest. Just like we were working in this forward fold to headstand, tilt the top of your hips forward. Working that pelvic mutation. Breathe, just a few more breaths. Inner thighs spin down. We'll make it a lot easier to roll the hips forward. Slowly come up. Nice job. Bring your feet back together. Roll down onto your backs, knees into your chest. Grab your feet. Last pose, happy baby. When you're ready, you might extend your legs out. When you're ready, lower your heels back down to the mat, fly back, and Shavasana time. Take this Shavasana, just finish filling up your cup to the brim. These Shavasanas are so important to our practice of self-care. Get a chance to be free, be still, be idle, and not to anticipate what comes next, or even think about what's already occurred here and now.
When you're ready to start moving, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Stretch out your arms and your legs, please. Take a deep breath in. Side out, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice little squeeze and rock up to seated. And now with your hands at your heart, sit up tall, close your eyes. No rush to get here. Stay where you are if you need to be there longer. We're gonna close with one ohm. Exhale the breath all the way out. Inhale four ohm. Take care and love ourselves so that we are better equipped, more stable, better able to take care and love others. Continue to fill your cup so that you can support and inspire people around you. Light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for practice. Thank you so much, everyone. Great to see you all here this morning. I so appreciate you joining in. If you have questions, comments, requests, or feedback, anything I can help you with, please let me know. Stephen Arcos Yoga on Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can email me, Stephen at Stephen Arcos Yoga. And if you have the ability to give through donation, you can find me on Venmo or PayPal. Same thing, Stephen Arcos Yoga uh, through both. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Check out our YouTube page with plenty of recorded videos uh, updated every single day. If you want a copy of today's class, shoot me a message. I'll get it to you. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much.